Mishle, Proverbs 22. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. Yahuwah is the maker of them all. A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of Yahuwah are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that guards his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that sows iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that has a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he gives of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loves pureness of heart, with the grace of his lips, the king shall be his friend. The eyes of Yahuwah preserve knowledge, and he overthrows the words of the transgressor. The slothful man says, There is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of strange women is a deep pit. He that is aboard of Yahuwah shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresses the poor to increase his riches, and he that gives to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down your ear and hear the words of the wise and apply your heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if you guard them within you, they shall withal be fitted in your lips. That your trust may be in Yahuwah, I have made known to you this day, even to you. Have not I written to you excellent things in counsels and knowledge that I might make you know the certainty of the words of truth, that you might answer the words of truth to them that send unto you? Rob not the poor because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate, for Yahuwah will plead their cause and spoileth the soul of those that spoiled them. Make no friendship with eth an angry man, and with eth a furious man you shall not go, lest you learn his ways and get a snare to your soul. Be not one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If you have nothing to pay, why should he take away your bed from under you? Remove not the ancient landmark which your fathers have set. See a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men.